My soft, supple buttocks are sore from getting obliterated by college, but it's winter break now, and that means I have three weeks to get a haircut, learn the guitar, bake way too many cookies, and make a video. And I already got a haircut. Ha! You just got clickbaited. I don't actually have a combat system in Orchestralis. In fact, I barely even wrote a single line of code since last devlog. That's a lie, I did do a few things. But, I did them all last June, so I don't remember any of it. But, in this episode of Hey, Look at This Silly Goose Be Useless for 10 Minutes, I'm going to design a combat system for Orchestralis. Okay, maybe this isn't clickbait. Alright, so last video was left off at coding, movement, designing the starting room, figuring out how to make back walls disappear on command, and making things look pretty. Since then, I deleted the back walls, made the room auto-generate a white outline and black background, tried making a fighting arena, and coded an entire sprite manager that renders the player's movement animations on the fly by building each frame brick by brick, stacking each body part based on the direction of movement, centering each part relative to the body based on a dictionary of predetermined standard distances, like a god molding the character out of binary-based clay, breathing the soul of life into its nostrils, only so that it may become the slave to the player's every apathetic, tyrannical input. Also, I apparently already started making a combat manager. Yeah, nah. Wait, wait, that was, that was what I needed. So apparently I already started programming a combat system back in June. Uh, thanks past me, really thinking about the 20 minutes that will save me next video because YouTube just rolled up looking like a mafia boss saying I got 30 days before they kneecap me and my entire family. And now I have two weeks. I, two weeks now? <laughs> okay, it, it it's a work in progress, but here's how I got here. Originally, I coded the player movement directly to the player node. Worked pretty great, not gonna lie, but it's gonna be a piping hot pain biscuit, buttered with agony and a hint of exaggeration trying to copy this over when I get to coding enemy AI movement. Now allow me to introduce to you, managers. Unlike your boss at work, who apparently does nothing all day except defer pointless tasks onto you and send you a paycheck every two weeks, these manager nodes combine and operate all related mechanisms in a program the same way hamsters devour dirtless grass rectangles. With gusto. Did I pronounce that right? Gusto. Instead of the player input going straight to the character, we divert it to an input manager, which then filters the input to a movement manager, which then sends the updated player coordinates to the main player node, and also queues up a movement animation to a sprite manager. But nobody cares about movement. This is a combat mechanics video. Coming off the input manager, this time for combat inputs, is a combat manager. We got the essentials. Health, damage, defense, bloodlust? We also got two attacks. One main attack, and one charge attack that happens after holding the attack button. For little pizzazz. Let's also get a combo system in here. Orchestralis is inspired by people wearing instruments. <clears throat> Two of boss themes. <clears throat> Two UWC. <clears throat> Orchestralis Discord. So why not do something music related? That's right. Attack at the same tempo with the boss music and you'll be racking in that sweet, sweet damage. The tempo will be saved in a music manager off somewhere else. There also needs to be a bunch of weapons and armor in the game. I mean, if I want to wear a snare drum on my head, I'm going to wear a snare drum on my head. Introducing equipment. These suckers are independent objects of their own that save their respective sprite sheet, position table, and statistics all together in one. Equipped equipment is saved as variables in the combat manager, which are then referenced by itself when attacking. They're also referenced by the sprite manager since it needs those sprite sheets and position tables saved by the equipment objects. Now what happens when you click the attack button? Well, the input is sent by the input manager to the combat manager, which is like, oh heck, Mr. Weapon, we doing it. And the weapon's like, yo, I might send out my attack type, which then triggers the weapon's respective attack type, which is also an object 
and then that gets sent out to an enemy's hitbox. And that enemy's combat manager is like, Oh no, my hitbox, it has been infiltrated. Oh no, we're doomed. What if, what if, now, now hear me out. What if all the equipment also had special effects? Well, that's where the modifier manager comes in. When a piece of equipment is equipped, it tells the modifier manager, hey, I got these modifiers. And the modifier is like, hey, oh, bet. And then adds the equipment's modifier to its already saved modifiers. So then, when it comes time to do something affected by a modifier, the modifier manager is referenced to see how much modification must happen before doing the thing. It's kind of like a dictionary. Aye, that, that is it. That's the plan. Bathe in its excellence. Let it wash the sins from your bones along with your skin and flesh. The plan is hungry. The plan consumes all. The plan welcomes you. Become one with the plan. Do not resist the plan. Do not resist the plan. Do not resist the plan. <laughs>